14 small electric chairs from the Reversal series is ambitious in both scale and intention. It was painted by Warhol in 1980 and offers us the rarest of opportunities to witness this great artist at his most profound. He employs his signature technique of multiple repetition. Combined here with a vivid and playful palette, this work is instantly recognisable as a Warhol masterpiece and represents the opportunity to acquire a work of undeniable museum quality. The intensity of the colour is arresting, and this, married to the unsettling image, makes it a remarkable artwork from one of the great figures of the 20th century. Untitled Red Fan from 1965 by Katsuo Shiraga is the very first from the Gutai Masters sculptural collection ever to appear at auction. Katsuo Shiraga is the undisputed master of the Gutai group. Shiraga's first ever sculpture was Red Timber from 1957, which is now in the permanent collection of the Museum of Contemporary Art in Tokyo. It was executed in Crimson Lake, a very intense red hue, and Chiraga's favourite colour during that period. This piece was exhibited widely, as we can see. However, it also has lain in the same collection in private hands for well over 50 years, having never been seen on the open market before. This selection of three oil works by Frank Auerbach tell the story of one of the greatest painters, not only in Britain, but active anywhere in the world right now. EOW on her Blue Eyed Adam 5 of 1963 by Frank Auerbach is a miracle of a painting. The sheer technical mastery required to paint sculpturally in oil reaches its zenith in this painting. It's a tumbling cascade of oil paint through an intense spectrum of colour When one considers that the condition is perfect and that it has not been seen in public for 50 years, one can only conclude that this is a work of art which truly deserves to be nominated a masterpiece. In this sale, Bonhams has four works from a private collection in New York of remarkable pieces from the Zero Group master, Adolf Luther. We can recognize this selection of work as being amongst the very best of its kind on the market. Belonging to a private Italian collection and completely fresh to the market are three ceramics by Lucio Fontana, dating from 1957. The complexity in the execution of Combattimento di Galli, Cockerel Fight, is extraordinary, as well as the condition in which these three works are presented. We're particularly pleased to be able to present a section in this catalogue entitled Five Artists, Five Mediums. Not simply because it's a fascinating survey across the various different media employed by innovative artists following the Second World War, but also because all of these artists just so happen to be female. Typically these women artists thought and indeed think of themselves primarily as artists rather than women, and the work for them is everything. Peju's Robe by Elan Atsuri is a work from 2006, right at the heart of his experimentation with metal textiles. What we see is an accumulation of infinite flattened bottle tops that the artist has painstakingly stitched together to this wonderful, shimmering fabric. What the artist is doing is reconfiguring the detritus of everyday life, strewn around the streets of his adopted country of Nigeria. And with the Midas touch of the artist, turning it into the gold of this wonderful art object we see behind us.